This is the United Kingdom, which consists of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. This is Great Britain, which consists of England, Scotland and Wales, not Northern Ireland. The UK's de facto official language is English. There are, however, four Celtic languages spoken in the UK. These are Irish, spoken in Northern Ireland, Scottish Gaelic, spoken in Scotland, Welsh, spoken in Wales, and Cornish, spoken in Cornwall. They, of course, all speak English as well. Are these languages similar? Well, you can see for yourself. Here is Hello, How Are You? in Irish, Welsh, Scots, Gaelic and Cornish and as you can see from the translations uh, they are very very different. Let's take a look at those regions, those countries and territories where different languages are spoken. First let's look at England. Capital is London, population 55 million, National flower is the red rose and the flag is the St. George's Cross. Here are a few pictures from England. If you've never been, uh, it's known for its castles, cathedrals, countryside and its cute little villages. Here's some English food. Some you may be familiar with, some you might not be. Traditional fish and chips, full English breakfast and chicken tikka masala, which is the most popular dish in the UK. Got some English drinks as well. Uh, England is known for its large array of ales and of course its tea with milk. Next up we've got Scotland, capital Edinburgh, population 5.4 million, national flower is the thistle and its flag is called the St Andrew's Cross. Here's some pictures of Scotland, if you've never been. Again, uh, lots of nice countryside pics, beautiful scenery, often quite wet. Here is some food. We've got if porridge in the bottom left. We've got shortbread, which is a type of Scottish biscuit in the bottom right. And we've got haggis in the middle, which um, is quite an interesting food. I don't personally recommend it, but if you like that kind of thing, um, it involves intestines and other interesting things. Next up we've got some Scottish drinks. We've got whiskey, scotch as it's known. Uh, we've got a liqueur here which is Drambuie and the number one fizzy drink in Scotland is something called Iron Brew. Uh, it's more popular than Coca-Cola. Next up we've got Wales. Capital is Cardiff, population 3.1 million, national flower is the daffodil, and its flag is called the Red Dragon, for obvious reasons. Here's some pictures of Wales, again beautiful countryside, some mountains, water, it's a bit rugged, beautiful. Here's some Welsh food, we've got uh, Welsh lamb in the middle, we've got Welsh cakes on the right, and something called... Welsh rabbit, which is like a fried bread with like a cheese cream sauce on top. Got some Welsh drinks as well. Um, Welsh beers, Welsh ales, Welsh whiskey and Welsh wines. Next up we've got Northern Ireland, which um, strictly speaking I guess is not exactly an independent country, but it's kind of in the middle of changing, it has been for some time. Um, the capital is Belfast, population is 1.9 million. National flower is the shamrock, also known as the clover, same as the Republic of Ireland. Um, the flag of Northern Ireland actually is the Union flag. This is the official flag. Unofficially, it's something called the Ulster Banner. If you see Northern Ireland playing sport, they are normally represented by the Ulster banner, but it's not actually officially their, their flag. Got some pictures of Northern Ireland, a beautiful castle, again rugged coastline, um, there's some beautiful scenery there. Some Irish food, they've got a type of Irish stew, bottom left. In the middle this is the Northern Irish breakfast. It's a bit different from the English breakfast because the bread types are different. And we've got another type of food in the bottom right, which looks rather interesting. 
This is something called Champ. Uh, looks interesting, maybe worth a try. We've got some Northern Irish drinks here. We've got Irish whiskey. We've got a type of tea, which is from Northern Ireland called Punjana. And something called Brown Lemonade. Never tried it. Um, looks interesting. Next up, we've got Cornwall, which is not a country, but it's a, a part of England, a territory in the southwest. Its capital city is called Truro. Population is 550,000. National flower, unofficially, is the Cornish Heath. And its flag is St. Piran's flag. Here's some pictures of Cornwall. Looking absolutely stunning. Looks like somewhere in the Mediterranean. Blue, beautiful uh, turquoise water. Beautiful sandy beaches. And some uh, stunning views. Definitely worth a visit. Got some Cornish food here. Cornish pasty at the uh, top middle. We've got clotted cream. Part of the um, Cornish cream tea. Lovely stuff with some jam. And... Bottom left, we've got Cornish ice cream, which is normally like a, a clotted cream ice cream, looking delicious as well. Got some Cornish drinks. Um, bottom left is a drink called mahogany, which is gin and treacle mixed. Um, it's best to have it a bit hotter as well to loosen up the thick treacle. Um, we've got a drink called shrub in the middle here. And on the right, we've got a type of cider, Cornish cider, called Scrumpy. Okay, uh, that's it. Hope you liked the video.